And with supply chain issues expected to make it extra difficult for holiday shoppers to get what they're looking for, you might find yourself having to get a little creative with gifts this year. When buying something online or just maybe scoping out a good restaurant or business in an unfamiliar neighborhood, you might find uh, reviews and look at them online. Well, now the feds want to make sure what you're reading is authentic. Aaron Jones speaking to some local businesses about what the change means for them and for you. Today, the FTC says there's been an explosion of businesses using fake reviews to promote their products and services on social media. And as we learn from local companies that we talk to here tonight, it can be especially frustrating for them because they work hard to earn their reviews. He's been creating custom frames for his customers for more than 25 years. Alex Park, manager of Art and Frame Warehouse in Plano, doesn't do any advertising, instead relying strictly on reviews to earn business. It's of the utmost importance. Um, whenever I get a first timer in here, uh, the first thing they say to me is, uh, oh, I saw you online, I saw your reviews. Park prides himself on his five-star reviews and says it's a shame to see other businesses using fake ones to try and drive business. I see it as kind of deceiving the, uh, the public. Now the Federal Trade Commission is cracking down, today announcing it's warned hundreds of major corporations and smaller businesses that they could face a fine of just over $43,000 per violation. Monica Horton with the Better Business Bureau of North Central Texas says it can be hard to determine if a review is fake and offers this advice. We really want consumers to do additional research. She says first check with the BBB website to see if a company has been flagged for using these deceptive business practices. If there's a lot of reviews coming from one particular IP address, it may be a situation where there's paid false positive reviews coming in. And when it comes to reviews with photos attached, she suggests doing a reverse image search to see if it's been used in other situations. And if you believe that you've spotted a fake review, you can report this to the social media platform or the FTC. Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News. Aaron, we thank you.